Good morning guys, Michael with Mealy Marine. And uh, last we left off, I painted this back area. It turned out pretty decent. Like I'm not a painter by any stretch of the imagination. But I think it'll be a nice little touch to the battery area instead of it looking worse than that. So we're gonna pull this tape off. I Over the weekend, I let the epoxy dry on our flooring. So it'll be nice and water resistant. I'm gonna put that back in and then I'm gonna start building out the rest of the back deck. So this is our back frame. These are all the parts for the front frame. I'm gonna start screwing that all together and I will tell you guys what I'm gonna do once I get all that back in. So I had a little bit of a fupa on the flooring, so I need that to dry. Uh, just one of the pieces can't cracked up, so I'll put some epoxy underneath it, and I'm holding it down. So in the meantime, uh, no point in sitting around waiting. I need to redo this wiring that Hugh did because I don't know what he did. Somehow our wires are shorter, and they can't reach to the speakers. So we're gonna run new speaker wire and do that whole new jazz thing. I'm pretty sure I just did something not very smart. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh, work on that. So I got some, some of the wire ran to the front. There's also some, some uh, 12 gauge wrapped up underneath there. Uh, Might have cut them a little short, but we will fix that, I believe. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spend some time cleaning this area up. Uh, customer asked if we could do that and we're gonna go ahead and pretty much rewire the whole thing because it'll be easier than just cleaning it up. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much get rid of all this junky stuff. We'll run it real nice. So he can actually have some storage in this compartment as well. So let's get to it. So there's really not much going on in here, a lot of unnecessary wire. So I just wanted to kind of go over it. We got these little green lights right here. So each one needs to be powered. 
and they each need to be ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a power wire from the fuse block to each light individually, and then I will run two ground wires and I will pigtail the grounds between them. Uh, so each light is individually fused. I do not know what the fuse is supposed to be on this, but I will be able to put an amp clamp on this and tell you what they are. Uh, we have power, obviously, and ground going to the, the head unit. We have the speaker wires. More, oh, nope. More speaker wires right here. And then we have our, uh, this, this is the weirdest part. We have a fuse block that's providing power and it's fused to some more fuses. So uh, just double extra protected fuses. And these switches seem to control, uh, one of them is the stereo, one of them is the speakers, and one of them is the front light. So we'll obviously fix all that. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on these little light guys and um, getting them all ran together and pigtailed. So let's do it. Alrighty guys, so it's a new day. I didn't do a finish update on the wiring job yesterday. Uh, it took me all day. Wiring is not the most quick thing to do on a boat. It's very time consuming. Uh, it took me pretty much all day to clean up this. So this is what I got so far. I still need to do quite a bit of cleaning up, but we got all of our lights run off of here. We got our power, then our fuse, everything's labeled so everybody knows what's going on. And it is definitely a lot cleaner than it was before. Now he actually has some storage in there and not just a bunch of wires hanging across. 